Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm Brian Pirtle. I'm the Dean of the Lawrence Conservatory of Music. And I'm Leela Pirtle. Um, I'm an instructor in music education here at Lawrence University. And together, Brian and I teach a course on deep listening. And in fact, that's what you caught us doing. So deep listening is a big part of Lawrence University campus culture. And in fact, last year, the Center for Deep Listening acknowledged Lawrence as the first deep listening affiliate campus in the world. And we're very excited about that. So we're embarking on a collaboration between Lawrence, the Fifth House Ensemble, and the Center for Deep Listening to bring deep listening practice right into your living rooms. So what does that mean? Brian, what is deep listening practice? So deep listening is a practice that was started by Pauline Oliveros, uh, amazing American composer and virtuoso musician. And Pauline really had a lifelong practice of trying always to become a better listener. So Pauline once said that she tries to listen to all things in every way possible mm -hmm. at all times. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. So today we're gonna to take you on a very brief listening walk with us. I mean, as long as you're here, you might as well join us the rest of the way. I think that, um, you know, you can do deep listening from where you are now. You don't have to pop outside. You can do it going through your home. Um, you can do it actually in your imagination. Um, or you can come up and join us on, on the Lawrence campus as long as you're staying six feet away. But today, uh, I'd like you to just uh, take a few deep breaths. Breathe in and out just a little bit longer than you breathed in. So let's inhale. And now exhale a little bit longer. And I want you to do that one more time. And as you do this, I want you to think about your soundscape expanding with each breath, even further than you thought it went. And I want you to listen like a microphone. So you're not putting any sound on a hierarchical ladder. So everything mixes together as if it were a symphony written just for you in this moment. In our soundscape, we hear birds, and if I expand my soundscape, I hear the river. What are you hearing? Cars, and the wind through trees, and leaves under our feet. And sometimes, no matter where you are, you can turn, and turn very slowly, and you can enjoy that journey. And it opens up another soundscape. So a few things we want to invite you to think about after you've done your sound walk or during is what is the furthest sound you could hear on your walk? What is the very softest sound you were able to hear? And what was the most surprising sound or interesting sound or combination of sounds that you heard while you were on your sonic journey? And remember, you don't have to be outside to do this. And you can even do this in your imagination. We often do this thinking about a favorite place or a place that gives us great comfort. So thank you for joining us. And we're excited to be on this journey with you. And we'll see you next time. Thank you, everybody.